All right, science fiction book club fans, we know you've been waiting for this one. We're here to announce our season two reading schedule. We're here to talk about the three books that we're going to be covering that's next season. That's right. That's up. right. Here, in person. In person. Live. In the studio. As you can see, we're touching. We're touching fingers. Touching if you're watching fingers. the video version yeah. of this podcast episode, we're in the studio. Yes. Yeah, this is exciting. This is a relatively new upgrade for us. This is a brand new studio space. Yeah. We'll still be primarily doing audio, yeah. but occasionally bonus episodes. Yeah, I feel like this could be fun. This could be fun. Yeah. And, and I think there's see... a different energy in person. Oh, totally. And as you can see, super vibey in here. <laughs> Avu's been in here less than a month, and already this yeah. looks better than any space I've ever occupied. Oh, clearly. Uh, you're too kind. You're yeah. too kind. You can yeah. see all the books that he's got here that you know we might delve into as well. Yeah. And look, for the folks who are trying to imagine the space, yeah. because they're only listening they're to the only audio. listening, <laughs> and we're raving about it <laughs> because it is great. Yeah. Look, patreon.com yeah. slash sci-fi book club pod. That's right. The video is going to be up on Patreon for oh, free, yeah. Yeah. and you can check out this uh, studio space yeah, that yeah. you're a big fan of. Okay, let's get down to business. Let's get down to brass let's, tacks, let's, folks. Let's stop teasing. Yes. We do have Science a season fiction. two. We have a season two. We have a season two here. schedule and I locked think in. We've got our books. We do. Yeah. Okay. Let me grab the iPad. Season two, folks. Drum roll, please. Here we go. We're going to be coming back with our first episode of season two on October 3rd, 2024. Right. Yep. And that first episode back is actually going to be a bonus episode. Yeah. We decided to be bold. We're coming back with a review of season one silo that's on Apple right TV that's Plus, right that's right which i'm sure folks can then guess our very first book it's gonna be wool whoa you howie so we're gonna start with a season one review october 3rd we're back then we're gonna get into wool part yep. one part two part three we'll cover it in three episodes and then november 15th we'll cover silo season two yeah episode one i think it that's comes right. out weekly it's not a binge drop yeah. like which three body problems. honestly was. i'm Kind of looking forward to it. I, I, I like that pacing. I, we've talked about same. that you know, at length. And uh, it's also particularly great because Silo Season 1 covers the first half of the book or That's thereabouts. Right. And yep. Season 2 will allow us to explore the subsequent chapters. Yeah. And, you know, you and I were talking about this as we built the schedule. Yeah. It'll be interesting to read the book after, after. having watched totally. the TV show yes. adaptation. Yes. Because I, I don't know about you. Yeah. I never do that that oh, feels a little 100%. dirty like oh, a little I, taboo oh, oh yeah I've, i can't even imagine it but I, we're doing it we're doing it yeah it feels weird and which is funny to say because yeah. so many people are introduced to for example dune lord right. of the rings in that order in that order yeah, they watching. watch the movie first yeah they watch the cartoon first they yeah. watch the xyz adaptation right. first right. and then go find the source material right. Right. game right. of thrones yeah totally right? i'm yeah. sure so many people saw the hbo show yeah before reading George R. R. Martin's right. source material. Right. But we're going to be switching things up, and yeah. it'll be interesting to see if that changes our perception of the totally. book as we go yeah. through it. I mean, the the one thing about reading books before watching the series or the film adaptation is that you end up catching so many things that they cut from yes! the adaptation, and that, you know, as a, as a reader, often is, like, a little frustrating, and I'm so curious what the experience will be like going the other way, where yeah. it's like, you know, I think you and I have both started watching you know the first season of silo yes and, yeah i'm a couple episodes in and uh you know i don't want to give anything away we might like it we might not you know we'll see we'll see find uh, out on october 3rd that's right that's right uh but it'll be yeah it'll be interesting to see how that affects our perception of the books afterwards yeah i agree i think we'll have some fun conversations yeah. there for sure some spicy takes perhaps oh we'll okay silo season one silo season two wool that's how we're kicking yes. off the first half of yep. the season and by then we're kind of into like Thanksgiving Christmas time. Yeah. yeah and yeah. so we decided let's do for book number two. Yeah. Let's do a smaller one. Yeah. Something di digestible. Something know? digestible. And you noted something that's utopian. Yeah. Which we don't often see in sci-fi. Yes. Yeah. So book number two is A Psalm for the Wild Built. Yes. By Becky Chambers. Becky Chambers. That's it's a right. nice short one. We're going to yeah. knock it out in just two episodes yep. um, between Thanksgiving and Christmas before we go on our holiday break. And then we're coming back. In the new year in 2025 uh -huh. to round out season two with a banger an absolute smash hit by none other than octavia butler oh my goodness we're reading parable of the sower i am so looking forward to that one uh i will be honest that i haven't read any of her works yet um but 
such a large looming figure in the the, the realm of science fiction. Yeah. Uh, that I yeah, this was like at the top of my list for you know the books that we we covered this season. So I'm happy that we got enough votes and enough interest in this one yeah. that this is an easy season two easy uh, closer. Yeah, for sure. Top of your list, also top of the Patreon voters yeah, list. Totally. So yeah, there's season two for you folks. Yeah. Starting with silo and wool coverage, and then a song for the wild built, and wrapping it up with parable of the sower. Yeah, I hope you're all as excited as we are. I yeah. mean, I think we obviously had a, a pretty fun season one. Got a lot of new listeners, and uh, it's it's been great to see the community kind of growing and blossoming, and to have the opportunity to do a season two that covers such varied and interesting books as the ones that we've got lined up. So. Thank you, everyone, for your votes and yes. for you know, helping us uh, pare down what was increasingly <laughs> <laughs> an impossibly long list. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 happy that we were able to finally settle on on a couple of books that uh, I think are going to be really really cool to cover. I agree. I can't wait to get into it. And there's your schedule, folks. Yeah, fire up your Libby apps. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Renew your library cards. Or go to your local bookstore, yeah, yeah. grab a copy of these books, yeah. and read along with us. Yeah, steal somebody's Apple login so you can watch <laughs> Silo <laughs> as we, we also watch it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, get caught oh up. Yeah. yeah. Pro tip, it's really easy to get Apple free trials. They're just oh, handing them out like candy. Right. That's, so, right. that's true. That's you know, true. Look around for one of those free trials and uh, try yeah. to binge Silo season one right. in preparation. Right, right, right. All right, folks, we'll see you in October for season two. We can't wait to get started. Time to do some reading.